college. That's right, we have relationship expert Mike Lundstrom joining us <laughs> with some simple things we can do to keep our relationships alive and thriving. You know, let's talk about vulnerability. Obviously, yeah. there's such a difference, you know, between guys yeah. and girls and how we deal with it. The, you know, the biggest thing is, is the issue that you're vulnerable around. See, men are up there, the protectors or the mm -hmm. providers, money, you know, all those different things that we feel the stress about is different for women. Women, they want to be, uh, you know, they want to make the home safe. I mean, these are all, you know, things that are cliche in our culture, but it's true. But guys don't talk about this stuff. And I always say guys suck at the F word. Feelings. Oh, okay. They don't, they, oh, they, they, yeah, 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 no, no. We stuff it down. We don't know how to talk about these kind of things. But the more that when two people open up and communicate, mm -hmm. it, I always say you can't give away what you, what you don't have. So you have to open up each pathway so you create the communication channel. Uh, easier said than done, Mike. How do you even start, you know, getting there for the guys to be able to yeah. be vulnerable and let it out and trust and give, give your, you know, bring your barriers yeah, down? Yeah, I'm going to say it point blank. It, it, the women have all the power. Period. I mean, the women have yes. all the power. But yes. But then again, you're not telling us anything we didn't know. No, I know. I know. Good, good <laughs> point. Good point. Good point. Well spoken from a woman's vantage point. No, but women can have create a safe space for us to talk about these kind of things, and that that's what makes a man more comfortable to talk about those kind of things. Now, let me tell you, I'm going to tell ladies, guys are not going to talk about certain things. They're just not. They talk about with their guy friends. Sure. So, you sure. know, allowing them to have that space. But the more that you bring up those kind of things and, and not make him feel bad about those subjects, the better off you are. And, and we probably tend to criticize the man for doing such things, like you'll talk to your friends about this, but not to me. Right. But guys need that safe space. That's, I mean, the guys trips, the, the, the weekends, you know, having those couple guys, even if the lady doesn't like the guy, that's where he confides. You got to give him that space. So that's, that makes him be vulnerable, more vulnerable. So for women, giving your guys space, understanding a little bit, for the guys, right. what can they do to open up a little bit more? Well, I think the one thing is just getting over your ego and your fear. That's one of the things that guys really struggle with, it's our pride. Mm -hmm. So when you create rituals around those things, like for example, I always coach a lot of uh, relationships to have something like a weekly date night or bi-monthly okay. date night. Okay. Where you just talk about stuff. It's not uh, not in wartime, like when you know, you're know you all fired up about something, it's peacetime. You're having a glass of wine, you're talking about what's going on the last couple of weeks, just talking about your goals and just getting on the table. But most couples don't have those rituals in the first place. No, you're no. right. We're, we're too busy with regular Correct. life and you don't find time for right. yourself. Got to do that. Got to find time for each other. Right. And open up and Big. trust each other. Well, that's the hard part too. It's just creating those rituals. Just put it on the calendar. Okay. Make it happen. That's the first step. That's it. All right. Hopefully that'll help uh, save your marriage yep. because, you know, it, communication is key in everything, right? Well, it's number one. It's not about sex and all the different things people talk about and why people cheat. It's the communication in the first place. All right. Yeah. Mike, we always appreciate your oh, advice and your insights. Thank you so much insights. for coming on. That's great.